Hi everyone and welcome to Big Dave Shed. Now today I'm going to do something completely different. Um, I've done a few unboxing videos but this one's going to be a little bit different mainly because I haven't got a clue what's in the boxes. Um, just like everyone else I love a bargain and I, whilst I was on a holiday I actually found a store that had a load of these things um, which seemed to be sort of pre-wrapped gifts or present and they were all a pound <laughs> so I haven't got a clue what's inside them but uh, for a pound I couldn't resist it so um, I thought we'd uh, just take a look and see what we've actually got here now this could be very interesting or very bad I don't know there's no indication at all it just says made in China so you know it could be anything <laughs> I just hope it's nothing rude, but uh, certainly it feels like a box inside there anyway. They're all, they all seem to be exactly the same size. Uh, obviously not designed for Christmas with this kind of wrapping paper. So here goes the first one. Uh, actually, I might need the scissors. Right, what have we got in here? So if you just bear with me a minute, I'm just going to adjust the camera. That's better. I'm not very good at keeping things in frame, so uh, <laughs> I've just raised it slightly. Okay, so this is the first one. As I say, I haven't got a clue what's in it. Um, I mean, they were literally in what they call uh, one of those old-fashioned dump bins. And... Uh, they're all just a pound each, but um, this could be either a bargain or a complete load of crap. <laughs> right, so what have we got here? So this is the first one. Oh wow. So, what have we got here? Okay. Well, this is interesting. Well, this one's uh, an electronic game of some sort. Presumably, we've got like a mini roulette wheel there. <laughs> okay, it says. Um, sorry, I'm going to need to put my glasses on now. Yeah, it says Vision 20 or Vision 2, Vegas Vision 2. So this is obviously uh, a, an electronic game that plays casino games. Um, so what I'm going to do, oh there we are, Vision 2, has it got any batteries? So push, oh that just releases the uh, the battery compartment. Okay, well, I'm going to come back to that shortly, and uh, we'll give that a test. But uh, for a pound, as long as it works, I think that's pretty good. Could be a bit of fun. Okay, so what's next? This is uh, Mystery Parcel or Box number two. As I say, they're all the same size. Um, I mean, potentially, they could, they could all be the same thing. Oh, this one's actually got... Did the other one have any writing on it? No. Oh, there is a set of instructions in there. Hmm, okay. So, back to this one. Right, uh, it's a similar tray, so it could be the same thing. Okay, so another electronic gizmo. Well, this one feels a bit more substantial. So I'm assuming perhaps these are all uh, sort of gadget game game gifts. Uh, what have we got here? Hmm. 
Okay, this one is called an advanced game player. Probably just make that out if I tilt. There we go. Oh, okay. Now that's pretty neat, I've got to say. <laughs> uh, we're a, we'll forgive the fact that the, uh, the sticker's not been put in the right place. Okay, so this is probably going to be like one of those old brick games, you know, where it plays 10,000 versions of Tetris or something like that. Um, then again, that's not such a bad thing. I mean, you know, Tetris is one of those games that's got nothing to do with the graphics so much as the actual um, basic gameplay. I'm not quite sure what these are. Right, we've got some little, what seem to be game cartridges. Right, that one says car racing and pinball. Right. And this one, very difficult to get out actually. What does that one say? Snake game and fun brick. Hmm. Okay, well the snake game would probably be something like the old Nokia phone game I'm guessing. The brick game could be something like Breakout or the Tetris game. Okay, and this one says Car Racing 3 and Hit Brick. So we've got Car Racing and we've got Car Racing, oh no, sorry, Car Racing 2 it says on there. Car Racing 3, so what happened to Car Racing 1? <laughs> now this is, uh, it does say just a storage compartment for the uh, the cartridges, so I'm not quite sure where they plug in. Ah, okay, what have we got here? There's one in the front. Cool. Right, so there we got Tank, Game and Star Battle. Just having a look at one of the cartridges here, you can see it's just got some uh, like little edge connectors there. I don't suppose actually that there's any sort of chip inside there or IC. Uh, normally these kind of things, if I remember that, they basically just work as a switch. Everything's, the games are already in the unit and this sort of just activates uh, possibly a different game. They're not actually game cartridges as such. Nevertheless, I've got to say for a pound that's, um, well, maybe more impressive than this one, we'll see. Um, again, we need some batteries for that, there's none in there I don't suppose. No. So, um, I'll find some batteries and we'll come back to that. Uh, does it have instructions? <laughs> Aha, there we go. Advanced Game Player. Right, here we are. Eight games with over 2,000 variations. Good God. Um, <laughs> life's too short for that, I'm sure. Um, Compact folding design, auto power off, uh, sound on and off, and a pause function. Okay, so as I say, we'll come back and test all those shortly, but we've got one more to go. So, uh, very nice sort of green wrapping paper here. It's a bit like Lucky Dip, isn't it? <laughs> Certainly so far, I'm not, uh, you know, for a pound each, I think mean, it's certainly better than anything you're going to find in uh, pound land, so. There we go. Our final box. I just wonder if this is going to be yet another <laughs> electronic game. Or something completely different. Okay, looks like I have the same tray. Oh my god, what have we got here? Right, surrounded by boxes and wrapping paper. Uh, ooh. <laughs> okay, it says thank you, your 100% satisfaction is our number one goal. Toll free number. So I'm guessing this was destined for the US. 
these have a tracking number? <laughs> um, be interesting to know how much they were supposed to sell for. I, I'm guessing maybe 4 99 something like that, in the UK anyway. Right, well this one's unusual, because it's got a set of headphones. Um, and it seems to be a Nature Sounds player. Okay. Very interesting. Okay, so it has a little brook. Night time. <laughs> I could include anything. Um, the ocean. And rain, which is actually what it's doing outside today. Well, there we are. So we've got a Nature Sounds player. Pretty neat little thing, actually. Little belt clip on the back there. Sprung one. It's a headphone socket. Um, okay, so we've got a volume control there. That's also the on-off switch. Um, we've got a little LED light there, and just four clicky buttons for the uh, the different sounds. Now, I suppose this could be very useful, uh, you know, if you have trouble sleeping or relaxing. Just, uh, I don't know what they sound like. Um, not quite sure how we can test that, but we'll, we'll give that a go. Maybe I'll hook it up to a little speaker or something. Um, I mean, I personally actually suffer with uh, tinnitus, so, um, you know, sound distractions are a very good way of dealing with it, to be honest. Um, you know, initially when I first uh, got it, um, it absolutely drove me mad you know permanent high-pitched noise in you know 24 7 um, and as part of my sort of uh, therapy for that the uh, they suggested you know using something like this um, so yeah it could be very useful well I've got to say uh, you know for three pounds to get all those it's not bad at all is it so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go and grab a load of batteries. Um, I think they all take much the same, double A's or triple A batteries. And then uh, we'll come back and give all those a test. Okay, so we'll see you shortly. Okay, so I return with batteries. Okay, so all of these things luckily take triple uh, A batteries. So here's a load of these cheap things out of uh, Poundland. Not very good but perfect for testing these things. So the first one is the Advanced Game Player. So we just put those in like so. I've got to be honest, not an easy thing to do when you've got hands like mine. Oh my god. <laughs> There we go. Now I haven't actually put any of the game cartridges in there yet. Let's just see if I can turn this sound off. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> right. So according to that, it already seems to have 9,999 games. I'm sure it has about five um, and a million variations. So, yeah. So this is obviously Car Racing 1 or something like that. Um, so this seems to change the game. Uh, that one turns it on and off. Play. Okay, so this one is the, uh, the racing game. Basically we seem to dodge cars is about as retro as it gets but you know as I say the uh, the brick game might be better there we go we crashed so anyhow that's uh, that's actually without any game cartridge plugged in so we've now got these little cartridges here and just see what that does uh, so what we got here tank game and star battle let's give that a go shall we there we go. It still says it's got 9,999 games. Yeah, that's great. 
And we still got the car racing game. <laughs> right, so it doesn't seem to have made any difference whatsoever. Um, is there any other button here? Reset. Oh, no. Very loud. Oh, okay. And by pressing that once, seems to have changed the game. Oh, we're actually playing. Right, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing there. Or indeed what that game's supposed to be. I presume that's the Star Battle one. Oh, what's this one? Snake game. Okay, I can deal with that. <laughs> now, I'm assuming this is going to be something like the old Nokia game. Okay, there it is again, the 9,999 games. Now, this is really weird. Uh, I press that button there, and it looks to be the same game that we had on the, the last one. So, how the hell do we change that? Aha! Uh -huh. This one. So, that's game A. This is game... Okay, so this one is uh, vaguely recognisable as a sort of breakout game. Yeah, not doing very good. <laughs> All right, let's quickly. Uh... Oh dear me. These really are a very tight fit. Um, so, Car Racing 2. I'm guessing it's probably going to look very much like Car Racing 1. Oh, let's have a look. So. Okay, so it says car racing, I've just pressed the button there, and game A is the space battle one, and game B seems to be breakout again. Right, so really these things here seem to do nothing much at all, actually. Uh, not even really working as a sort of switch for the inbuilt games, so they look cool anyway. <laughs> so that's our uh, advanced gameplay. So if you like playing, um, presumably there is a snake game of some sort on there, um, it'd be worth having just for that, or the, uh, you know, sort of Tetris game. Breakout is pretty much unplayable with just a single brick there. But um, as I say, this was a pound and a lucky dip, so we'll close that up. And we'll try number two. Uh, or actually, this was the first one, wasn't it? Um, now this one is the Vegas Vision 2. So let's just get some more Poundland batteries. Right. Okay. Cell 1. Or selection 1, I'll take that. Uh, we have got some instructions. I'm not going to spend too much time on here. Um, but maybe we can find out what it actually plays. Okay, so playing the games. Right, so it plays Blackjack, Draw Poker, Baccarat, uh, Deuces Wild, and Slot Machine. Okay. I'll be honest with you, I haven't got time to read through all of those different games. I'm not really uh, into casino games personally, uh, apart from the slot machines. I used to uh, restore fruit machines, so... <laughs> um, okay, so we've got a whole load of buttons on here. Not quite sure what the little wheel does. Um, so, we just press start, right? Very cool music. Um, 
Okay. As I say, I'm not sure. Oh. 18, I think I'm supposed to stand there. Well, I've got to be honest. Um, if I read the instructions and knew what I was actually doing, I think that would be a pretty good game. Um, as I say, certainly very good for a pound. I'm not quite sure what this looks like it lifts. Ah, oh. so it's got a backlight. <clears throat> yeah, I like that. But yeah, that's, uh, that's not a bad thing for a pound, is it? Okay, so that's the, uh, the casino going on. And then finally, we've got the Nature Sounds gizmo. <laughs> so again, we just need some batteries. Now, I did actually look around for a speaker, but unfortunately all the ones I've got are Bluetooth ones, and they... Uh, they haven't actually got a jack socket on them, so we'll just have to uh, do it through the headphones. Okay, there we are. So, let's plug those in there. Right, nice firm click. Uh, so we'll just see how we go. Let's turn the thing on. Now I can hear something. Actually, it goes pretty loud. Imagine that in your ears. So that is the babbling brook. Try night time. Uh, right, well, I wouldn't exactly say that was night time in the UK, maybe in the Amazon jungle. The ocean. That's pretty good. You can just visualize yourself sitting on the beach, looking out to the sea, seagulls overhead. Mm. Okay, that's the ocean. And then last but not least, in case you hadn't realized, that's rain. And to be honest, in the UK, that's not something you really need a uh, the sound player for because it does it quite often. So there we are. That's the uh, the nature sounds player. Of course, they're uh, they sound like sort of 20, 30 second samples that are just sort of looped over. Nevertheless, uh, again, that is a really good little item. Um, oh, this one's got a warranty. <clears throat> Limited warranty in the USA. So this is Gift Services Incorporated in Stanford, Connecticut. There we go. So obviously destined for America, but never quite got there. In fact, I found this in a shop in Great Yarmouth. <laughs> um, so there we go. I say mystery gift unboxing. Hope you enjoyed that.